Now, this is a fun tutorial to create a photo manipulated image and play with your friends, colleagues, etc. Now, I have this image here and I want to replace Rick's head with Bill Murray. Now, first of all, I need to isolate Bill Murray's face. To do that, I'll take the pen tool, I zoom in, and I go click and drag, 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 click and drag. Now, here I have a corner. I stopped here, so I can go like that. But if I didn't stop, I hadn't stopped. I could do click and drag, alt, pressing alt and change this here. Now, click, or I can correct it with alt again. Click and drag, 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 click and drag. And that's it. Now, I go to my paths, I press command or control and click on the path and I have a mask of the path. Now, I create a layer mask by pressing here and now what I have created is this. I have the original image here and the layer mask here. If I write with black on the layer mask, I remove material. If I write with white, I go back to my original image. Now, let's place this head over this one. I press Command T or Edit Transform. And with this tool, I move it here. I press Command T and transform here by pressing shift to uniformly transform the head and rotate when I go here this ro can rotate and see where I want to put it now I want it to be a little caricature style so I like it to be a bit bigger I play with the transparency here to see if the upper head goes over the down one. Now let's say this is okay. Now the next thing I want to do is to create a smooth transition between Bill Murray's skin and Rick's hair. So I go to my layer mask, I select a a, a nice brush that is a little bit uh, feathered, not sharp. I check that my opacity and flow are 100%. I can scale the brush using the brackets. Right bracket, sc uh, scale up, left bracket, scale down. Let's say I'm here, okay. And I select the black because I want to erase material from my layer. I said I'll keep bricks here. Now, the next thing, uh, and last one I think, is uh, I want to try and match the color of this photograph with the new one. So, I select my layer, I'll press Command M, this will open my curves, or I can go Image Adjustment Curves, and 
add a little blacks. I do that because I see that uh, this image is lighter and my, my background image is a bit darker, so I want more blacks. Okay. And very contrasty, so I'll need more white too, but no, because... Okay. So, now, I want to match the color, the white balance of the photograph. I can do two things. I can just press Command U. This will open the saturation panel or go to Image Adjustment Saturation and change the hue. I can see my image a bit browny. I can also darken it a little bit and desaturate it until I have a nice result. I think I can... somewhere near here. Now, this is a tutorial just for fun. It's not a really advanced photo manipulation tutorial. Now, because I want to keep my original image, I'll create a new layer, group layer, I'll put it in here. I'll transfer this mask command click on the whole group and I'll create a new adjustment layer, layer, new, and it will be curves again. Now I want more black. And now I'll uh, double click on, I'll click on the mask, create a new layer in my group and fill it with, uh, let's say, a color like this. Bring it to the foreground and press command and backspace, uh, sorry, alt backspace to bring it here. Now I can just do a color on my layer and reduce its opacity a little bit. I can then again press Command U and change the saturation. It's a little bit trial and error situation here. I think it is okay, but I need a little bit more contrast. And a little bit the saturation. So I'll, du I'll duplicate this layer paint it white I click here and command backspace to fill it this and I'm somewhere near here now I need to add a little more light here like this one like the highlights that Daryl has here so to do that I will do this I duplicate Bill Murray. I completely desaturate him. I press Command M. And now I will try to select only the highlights of this picture. I press Select Color and click on the highlight. Create a new layer and fill it with white. I delete this one. And now I will try to overlay this. Or perhaps soft light. I think this is better. Now I think I'll reduce it a little bit, but I still don't like the color. I can press again with the saturation.
And I think I'm right here. I think it's okay for this one. So, this was before, this is now. Of course I can be much more precise and accurate with this, but I think for uh, a fun uh, photo editing this is okay. <laughs> 